Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm still experimenting with this, but I think that we know enough to start doing this. The, exper the experimentation is still with the borders and how we wanna do the colors. So I'm using Canva to design everything because I wanna be able to print more than what we can print on Design Space, Cricut's Design Space, because print and cut is limited to 6.75 by 9.25, and our paper is eight and a half by 11. So I'm still kind of experimenting. I'm putting together some dimensions um, for the different things that we're gonna be wrapping. So stay tuned for that. So this is just kind of, I wanna show you how to put it together because then you can play with the design part. Now, um, couple things that I've learned so far. So I have done, oops, and I didn't bring it over, but I'll bring it, I'll grab it in a second. So I did these, right? So this is let's party, right? Party. And then um, I did the blue borders because I wanted to tie in all the colors. Here's the thing with the blue borders is um, the photo paper is white, right? So you can see a little bit of the white. So I'm almost wondering if just like for the majority of the time, if you can do it where your border is white at the end, that will make it so much better because I wanna show you another one. On this one, when you're tight on space and you push down, sometimes the back photo paper is gonna stick out a little bit more and it's gonna stick out and show you the inside, which is white. So it's almost better I mean, unless you don't really care about this. It still looks really cute, and I don't think I would, um, as a consumer, I probably wouldn't notice, but because I was, um, you know, trying to do a tutorial, I I didn't like that it was showing the white. So, so then that's why I took on this. So this is the original design with the blue borders, and then I just went with the white border. And let me show you what this looks like. I've done the white border and I think it looks very um, well put together, right? With the white here. Look at this one. I, it's like a deliberate white. I, I like it and I was just messing around so that's why it's uneven, like only white on here and not white over here. But if you do like a thick white, I feel like that looks good as well. So we're we're playing with we're playing around here so let's get started um you know i i tried to print this to the edge of the paper and it didn't let me which was this one which was so infuriating because i've ruined so many projects and then i didn't realize because my stuff was coming up short and i just assumed that it was printing exactly the way i designed it so lesson learned all right, so we're doing lip smackers. The other thing that I've learned with doing the potato chip bags is things that are flatter are gonna be so much easier to execute. So this chip bag, I mean, I think the chip bag is fine, but you can see it has like indents, right? And you can't, once it makes this little fold or whatever you wanna call it, you can't really undo it because what happens is when you undo it, where it has the bend, the color disappeared from there. So it's gonna show white. So to me, there's no point in even trying to pop this out because then you're gonna have a, a white crease in it. So if you imagine like 10 of these lined up, it's just gonna look really cute. No one's gonna notice that this bag is not as straight as it can be. But that's what happens is when, when you have things that aren't as flat, it's gonna pop up like that, as opposed to like a flat chocolate bar, right? These are super easy. This in here is a gummy, a lifesaver gummy. This is also a lifesaver gummy. I just ran out of paper and tried to make the best of it, but you can see it lays really flat, so it's easier to put together. So that's why I've stuck. I, I went shopping, my daughter is gonna love me or love you guys for this. Um, she's gonna get Ghirardelli Squares, Hershey Bar, crunch and kit kat so to me i feel like that gives us enough options it is all chocolate and i'm not a chocolate person but then you can go with like individually wrapped gummies or something like that okay and then the lip smackers is technically just a rectangle right unfolded so that should be easy to put together i've yet to put together a chapstick because i had been coming up short with all my designs the way it was printing so 
We're gonna do everything together today, the, some MVPs of this project. Um, this photo paper is really, really nice. It prints out the colors exactly the way you had it in mind, so I really like it. It's glossy, um, it just looks really good. And you can see on this one, I know it's kind of hard to see, but the colors in person, it's so pretty. It looks really professional. So there's that. The other one is Barely Art Glue. This, I mean, I'm not a glue person, but you use this glue, it comes out in the precision tip, and it's gonna come out just enough glue that you need. It doesn't get on your hands, it doesn't extend past the chip bag or whatever we're wrapping up, and it dries really quickly. So it, it, was, it is really, truly perfect for this project. So I'm gonna put that aside. This is my little crimper. It's Marvi Uchida. It's on Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop. You put it in and it gives you this little crimp line at the top. It, I mean, I feel like it really makes the whole thing look good. All right, and last but not least, I have found a new blade that I like to use. So before, I was using the Cricut brand and I, you know, I, I like my gadgets. Um, but this blade, it's from Excel, um, Excel Blades, and the blade is amazing. I had to use it for a Mandela, Mandela project, and it was 17 layers, and it didn't. two of my layers didn't cut well. And so I used this, and now it is part of my supplies. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm just going to cut with a ruler. So I'm going to line up my... I, I always work on a self-healing mat, so I like that. Um, I'm not going to give this that much room, so it's going to be a little bit uneven. But we're going to cut it like this. Okay, and then we're going to cut it close. I'm going to give it more room for the chapstick. So I'm going to line this up to make sure it's straight. Now, um, I did some stickers earlier and I was, I designed it in Canva and then I was gonna cut in design space, but man, that was a pain in the butt. So I'm, I'm, still, I'm still in design mode. I, I need to figure out the right dimensions and which, which is best to use. I, you know, I really, um, I don't want to waste the paper because it's photo paper and you know and also like everything takes time to do right so even though it's just the printer printing for you um you still need to watch over it make sure that nothing jammed so i want to print as few copies as possible um and things like that so i'm always kind of trying to maximize everything uh which is why we're still playing with this. Okay, let's see where we should cut this up. So the pink area is, oh man, it's not even. It's seven and almost eight inches. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do 3.8, what do I wanna do? 3.8-ish, okay, so. Let me line this up. Three, so it's gonna be right around, right around here. Does that make sense? All right. Here we go. All right. So let's do this one first and let's see. So on this one, we can get really closer to the pink. And you guys can still see. Okay. Now, for the chapstick, I was thinking I would use the Needle Labels stickers, but then 
unless you're doing a lot because then I didn't want to waste the paper right and then I was looking at my design in Canva and there's not that much space left so I might as well just use use it for the chopstick I don't know that's kind of where I am all right with this one this is the stopper that you put in overnight so I'm just going to take it out I'm going to put in this one look how you just screw it on super easy to use okay here's our first one so you don't want it to go, I mean, you're still gonna see some of the pink of the actual chapstick, cause you don't wanna go past and mess with the cap. And then you don't wanna be anywhere close to um, the little swirler thingy. So I could, you could cut this a little bit more even. I'm gonna do that real quick. And show kind of like the same amount of white on both sides. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna roll it. Yes, finally. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this side first. I'm just gonna put a ton of glue on here. And I don't know if you can really see it because it's white on white, but It got uneven. Okay. And just hold it down while it's while it's drying. And it got a little bit uneven for me. I wasn't paying attention, but it's super, I mean, look at that, it's so cute. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it for a couple seconds. And it's pretty dry, I think. So here's the first one. <laughs> I know with the glare, it's hard to see. All right, so that's one down. Let's do this one and see what we have here. So this is a little bit uneven. But I want to try, let me see if this is going to fit. Okay, so it's okay that this is uneven because this is where we're going to glue. But this side, I'm going to trim down just a little bit to match this side. So I'm going to cut off about this much. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna actually put the glue on this side because it's gonna go in a little bit further than this side. So watch this glue too, because I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna put it a little bit away from the edge so that when we push down, the glue will spread out, but it won't spread out past your line. So you can kind of see where I'm doing it, okay? And then I'm just gonna scooch this down a little bit, okay. So I tried to keep it even with the white line. That looks really, really good. And then I'm gonna now put a little bit of glue on this end And you see it's so easy to get that nice fold because it's a flat piece of chocolate. And there's plenty of space. So this is a four by four, which gives you plenty of room. And then I think once it crimps, and we can even trim this off a little bit more if we wanted to, to make it a little bit more even, but this looks really good. I'm actually really happy with this. So I'm gonna cut off, maybe with scissors. Okay, so 
So now my crimper, which is my favorite. Now, when you buy this, so first of all, it's on my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. And I have a section for, I called it potato bag chips or potato chip bags, but it can be anything. Um, I, ha I had to buy it twice. The first time I bought the wrong one, it was not the crimper. It was like um, an ocean theme. So it was bubbles. And I didn't realize that there were multiples of these. Okay, so you just stick it down into the crack and then go maybe like two turns because you don't want to press into the chocolate. But see, then you have your little crimped. And then same thing on this side. And there you have it. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this side because I went in a little bit more. Okay. That looks really, really good to me. You know, it's hard to see with the gloss. Okay, so that's down. Let's look at our Hershey bar. So here's our Hershey bar. This one I'm gonna probably wanna trim down on that white. This, it doesn't matter, right? Because this is where we're gonna just fold in like that. But I wanna feel to see how close we can get to that. Okay, so let's glue this down and then we can always trim afterwards. Um, Okay, so we'll put glue on this side. And you can see I'm, I have total control over how much glue comes out. It's a great glue for this project. And you just have to hold for a few seconds while it's drying and then you're good. And then I think what I'm gonna wanna do is let's glue down this side first. We'll push everything down and see how much space we have on this side. That looks so good. Okay. And just press down like that then push your Hershey bar down we'll glue this side all right so now We'll put it in the crimper and then we'll trim afterwards. Oops. And I don't know if you saw that, but I went back into the crimper because I went in and it was not straight. So it was a little crooked, but then I redid it and it's fine. So now let's see, let's trim it some. Okay, so I trimmed it there, which means it opened a little bit. So I'm gonna put some more glue down. Oh, I see, so there, it's right where the Hershey bar is to the wrapper. So I'm gonna put some glue down and press it now. Should be good now. All right, so we're good with that. That looks really cute. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm gonna re-crank out those numbers and see how they print out. Um, but the thing with these um, 
bars and everything when you're wrapping because it's photo paper sort of like what I was saying with you know we we want to be flatter rather than round like I tried to do the Rice Krispie treats and it would have been fine if I gave it more room but then it felt like I was wasting so much paper to wrap that thing so it's totally up to you but give yourself lots of space because that will allow you to um, to go out further where it's more flat to glue it down and everything will just look better that way. So, um, I mean, I've said it before, this is not the project where you wanna be um, on the cheap side. <laughs> it's so frivolous already, right? Let's not try to be super efficient with our paper. All right, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Or if you wanna see other snacks, let me know as well. Okay, bye.